Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachah Kadash. The will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that will well labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom and in peace. Will that be into the elect of the nation of Israel? So I'm just going to a quick point on Revelation, in Revelation, the eighth chapter, verse 10 and 11. It says, And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of waters and upon the fountain, fountains of waters. So the third angel sounded, there fell a great star, like the word there is us there, from heaven, so from the sky, burning as it were a lamp. And right, so it's something to bring fire. Now the Lord said he would send fire. Yeah, there's, and there'd be fire already kindled. What will I if it be already kindled? Right, in Luke, the 12th chapter. Right, so there's going to be fire. There's going to be fire from this, which is what it's talking about, is the ICBMs, the nukes. Yeah, and the third part, third part of the rivers, and third part of the waters, is going to be dealing with the third part of men, right, which you have three classifications of men. You have the sons of the Most High, right? When you go into sons of God, right, the, the word for Israel is Yasha. Allah, Yashar Allah. Right, Yah means he, Shah means prince, and Allah means power. Now the heavenly father is known as the king of terrors. Now what do you call a son of a prince? It's Salachia. What do you call, you call a son of a prince a duke, right? And he had dukes in Edom. Right, but what do you call the son of a king, is what I meant to say. You call them a prince. So he is a prince of the Most High. And he's a prince of God. He's a ruler, is dealing with the sons of the king of terrors. Right, then you have the sons of men, which is dealing with the other nations. For example, you look at Genesis 6 and 4, when people talk about the book of Enoch, how they're meant to be giants in the earth, you know, 10 feet long. Now that's ridiculous. The sons of men is just dealing with the women of the other nations. Right, Jake going into the women of the other nations. That's it. Right, it's not talking about anything Enochian. You get enough confusion. That people get very confused by that. So you have the sons of the Messiah, the sons of God. The, it actually says the daughters of men, but then there's obviously the daughters, the female of the sons of men. And you have the sons of the wicked. Where I believe it or not, you have a classification of the wicked. Let's find out who they are. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 4. It says, Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, they shall build by our third on. They shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh shall have shall salachia, and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. Right, so there's a set group, and it told you in there, you know, Adawam, Aisha. That is the man. These are the people, the border of wickedness. Again, to that word for border. It's the word Gabawal. Again, it says border territory, border territory, region territory of darkness, figuratively. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because the, the Gabawal, the border, means wherever they inhabit. It you know, becomes the borders of wickedness. Okay, wherever they set up shop, they promote that wickedness, they take it with them. Okay, so now that being said, let's go into this gen sorry, Revelation 8 and 11. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became wor Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they remained bitter. So does that mean it means that the nuclear missiles are going to pollute the water? Okay, many men are going to drink of this water, and that's going to cause, you know, dis, dis ease, you know, cancers and such. Let me do something. Right, 
right? This is off the Etims, E-T-Y-M online.com. It says, Chernobyl, a city in Ukraine, Ukraine Chernobyl, from Russian, Chernob- Chernobyl, what the hell? Chernobylnik, Chernobylnik, sounds like a racist word, that. and it says Mugwort, which is M, how do you spell that, M-U-G-W-O-R-T, and that goes, it says Midgewort, Midge, it says fly or nap, and wort is root, herb, vegetable, yeah, which is what a bitter um, plant, okay, that goes back to their language. So it's, you know, like same wormwood. And what was that? That was a nuclear you know, disaster. So let's look at this word, wormwood. <clears throat> Worm, wormwood, absinthos, absinthos. Like you got that drink, you know, it's like three million percent alcohol called absinthe. It says wormwood. The name of a star which fell into the waters and made them bitter. This is the absinthe. Now, when you go into this, um, in fact, also let's get the word bitter first. Go to a new tab. Right, so that's 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 lined up. So you go into Bibles here and you read it in the Vulgate. I'm going to butcher it, but I'm going to pick out a certain thing. So it says, A nomen stele disiter absinthius. So if you say absinthe, a facta es tertia par aquarum, obviously doing aqua water, in ab- absinthium, a multi hominum mot- motui, like um, el dia de muerto. Or muerta, they have you know, dealing with the day of the dead, which is of, of the world. So that word more. Sun de aquis qui amere, right? Amere. Now, this is going to hit, this is going to hit the third part of men, dealing with the sons of the wicked. But where's the chief rulership of the sons of the wicked? It's Babylon the Great, right? And we know, according to biblical prophecy, that has to go out by way of these nuclear devices it's revelation 11 no it's not revelation 17 and 16 and the 10 horns which is dealing with the eu nations right you can if you're unsure of this breakdown you can of course look it up and the 10 horns which are sourced upon the beast these shall hate the whore the whore dealing with Babylon the great and shall make her desolate and naked i mean to bring forth her shame and shall eat her with flesh and she'll eat her flesh, sorry, and burn her with fire. All right, and burn her with fire. How are they going to do that? Through the way of these nukes. Okay, so where is Babylon the Great? It's the United States of Amer- <laughs> America, Amare, which is dealing with bitter, and that's what it means. And that's what America means, bitterness. All right, this is pick. Picraina, Picraina, make better, be better. To make better, to produce a better taste in the stomach, to embitter, exasperate, render angry, indignant, to be embittered, irritated, to visit with bitterness, to grieve, deal bitterly with. Right. Then here we have, you've got Thayer's Greek lexicon, and we're looking at the second, no. The first definition we see here says properly to make better um, something in Greek. <laughs> and then it says to produce a better taste in the stomach, Vulgate, or what does the Vulgate have? That's the Latin you know, under Jerome. It's compiled into the Vulgar, the Vulgate, or the Vulgar, the common language of the people. And what have they translated it as? America, which sounds very similar to America which is where this, you know, this wormwood, this bitterness is going to hit heaviest. Why do I say heaviest? Of course, other places are going to get hit. But according to biblical prophecy, that place is going to go out by fire, by fire from the chariots, on the return of Yahweh Shai, from the war, 
the ICBMs in a continental nuclear missiles, right? So this is, <laughs> it's another little bit of evidence if you have the ears to hear and eyes to see, America. And it says Revelation, Revelation 10 and nine. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, give me the little book. And this represents the scripture. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up and it shall make thy belly better but it should be in their mouth sweet as honey, right? Verse 10, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and it tasted good, and as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was better. You know, there's certain hard, hard sayings to get, you know, persecution, that's what this bitterness represents. What was this word for bitter? You go back on the Bible, say, we'll look at the Vulgate, I'm not going to read the whole thing, where it says America, 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 that is America. That's where you get that term, man. It's a bitter, a bitter place. <laughs> this is Genesis 27 and 34. When Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry. And said unto his father, bless me, even me also, O my father. Right, and that bitterness is land on what the third part of men, the sons of this man eat. Right, the sons of the wicked. That wasn't even my intention to bring this up. But that's the spirit. It doesn't look like it uses that word, America. I mean, I'm struggling to work out what that would be. The word bitter in Latin there. But this Exodus 1 and 14, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. Isn't that what America did? Babylon the Great did. Just, just as the Egyptians. That's why in Revelation 11 and 8. Revelation 11 and 8, and the dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Well, also our Lord was crucified. So this is spiritually known as Egypt. You know, according to Deuteronomy 28, 68, we should go into Egypt again with ships. But well, this is the ultimate Egypt. This is really the fulfillment of that. Now, does that mean we went under the curses prior? Not all. We'll get this scripture, Daniel 9 and 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey the voice. Obey thy voice, therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the earth that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. Right, so being sinned against the Most High, and really sinned against you know, what Moses told him to the people. Because it wasn't the Lord that told them directly. You know, we always had dealt with intercession, if you like. You know, because the people wanted to hear the Most High, and they couldn't, and they couldn't take it. So you know, Moses dealt with them. That's why I said, you know, like another, like unto me, like un, uh, from a, the midst of your brethren, talking about another prophet, which was a prophecy of Yahweh Shai. Right, and not to say that the curse never poured upon us, but the, the fulfillment of this that came through Deuteronomy 28, 68, came through this final captivity, because it is the final captivity. And we're not going into slavery again. You know, Psalm 51, Hebrew E. We're not going into Saudi Arabia. This is this is the last rulership. This is that man E. Yeah, this is mystery Babylon the Great. This is that bitter, that bitter bondage place. Well, I'll finish this verse. Exodus 1 and 14 when it loads. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage in mortar and in brick, and in all manners of service in the field. All their service when they made them serve was with rigor. Right, and that's why on the Pesach, that's why we eat them bitter herbs to remind us of the bitter bondage that was in that, that Egypt. Now I would assume this is the Latin word, Amari Tudinem. Obviously it's got the Amari, Amari American root.
Psalm 64, verses 1 through 3. Hear my voice, O Most High, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. They may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. In this place I've got nothing but bitterness for me. For us, because the word is ma bitter, bitterness bitterly, chafed, angry, content in heavy, bitter thing. What was I going to say? I'm a amarisium, amarisimum, amarisimum. Right, coming from that same root when you get into the Latin. So I'll close out there. I pray it's edifying. Next video. Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachak, Kodash.